In this video, we'll show you how to set a PTZ pattern on your DVR. First, open up the PTZ menu on your DVR. Click the arrow to the right to expand the PTZ menu. You'll see a lot of different options here. I'll briefly go over the different buttons by hovering over them. This is the one for preset, tour, pattern, auto scan, auto pan, flip, reset, auxiliary config, entering the menu, and another auxiliary button. Let me first show you an example of a PTZ pattern, or in this case what we call a tour. By pressing the tour button, the camera will move to the preset 1 position, dwell there for a specified number of seconds, and then move to a second preset position, and then onwards to a third, fourth, you can configure multiple preset positions inside of the PTZ menu, as I'm going to show you. For setting the first preset position, bring your camera to the first position that you want to set the first preset for. So in this case, using the 3D targeting on our PTZs, I am zooming in to the first area of interest. Then I'm going to enter into the menu for the PTZ, and using this cursor, go to the function setting and into preset by pressing enter and setting this as the preset 1 by changing the number and then going to setting and pressing enter. Notice the OK tells me that the preset has been set. Now I'm zooming out and calling the first preset again to confirm that it's saved. Now I'm going to call a second preset that I have configured from before just to show you an example this is a wider area shot and I'm going to change it by moving the camera a little bit to the left and then going back into the PTZ's menu into the function setting and then choosing preset designating 002 as a preset number and pressing enter on the setting. It said OK. Now I'm going to change the position on purpose and set a third preset position. Using the same method as I've done twice before, I go into the PTZ's option menu, go into function setting preset. This time I'm going to put a 003 as a preset number, hit setting. It says OK, that means it saved my presets. Now I'm going to exit out of the menu and test all my presets again. Here's preset 1, now preset 2. Notice I'm putting the numbers into the number designated spot there and then just pressing the preset button and it calls all three presets. I know they are successful. Now to set these into a pattern, the DVR recognizes them as a tour and the camera refers to them as a cruise. I went inside back into the PTZ's menu and I'm going into cruise and on the PTZ the cruise is basically analogous to pattern or tour and now I'm going into that menu and setting or defining the preset positions for each cruise position number. By pressing right or left you can scroll through these pages of cruise positions. Here for cruise 1, I'm changing for example the dwell time and that means the camera will sit on preset 1 for 8 seconds. 2 I'm going to leave alone and in 3 I'm going to press enter to access the menu, the up arrow to change the preset to preset number 3 and then exit out by pressing enter and I'm going to call my tour. By pressing that button, I notice it didn't call it. I have to go back and change it to 1 because this is Tour 1 or Cruise 1 that it will call. So by changing the number to 1 and pressing the Tour button, it calls Cruise 1 from the PTZ. It's a little bit confusing. So on the PTZ, it's defined as a cruise and on the DVR, it's defined as a tour. So what it's going th to do now is go through the three presets I've defined inside the camera. 
that's cruise one. So it will go to preset one for eight seconds, sit there, then go to preset position two, sit there for seven seconds, and then go to preset position three and sit there for seven seconds. And then we'll keep on repeating the process until a user clicks on the up, down, left, or right arrows of the PTC that will interrupt the cruise pattern.